Hello folks, I uh, just want to show you a, a new uh, PVC hut. I showed you in some of the other videos, I have some PVC huts that we've, we've been making instead of using the traditional plywood because the life expectancy of that plywood is, is down to like a couple of years. I'm building huts and within two years they're falling uh, apart again. So we started using this PVC. I just want to show you how we made this particular hut. We, we did use two by four frames. Um, because you can't get two by four PVC, but um, we use two by four frames and what usually deteriorates is this PVC. So it works real nice. There, there is, the, the doors close nice. It, it, it's a great material to work with and uh, it's going to last forever. So uh, much better than building them out of plywood. My only concern is, is that you see it does, that top of that's a little slippery. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I'm going to have to come up with you know, some kind of material that I can disinfect really easy and yet gives them some traction. So, uh, you know, what we've been using is, is bricks or, or, or slates, but um, that, that's another big advantage of the PVC is that you can sterilize these tops much better than you can wood. So it's important to uh, think when we're upgrading cages, exactly what can we do to upgrade them and being able to add longevity and being able to disinfect is, is really important. I'm gonna show you around the back uh, that's the other half. That's how we put the heater element in and out. So you can follow me around the back. We'll take a look. Okay, folks, what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you what we're actually coming from and what's happening with those huts that are only a couple of years old. And you'll see another reason why I've gone to that PVC. Look, look at how these things deteriorate really, really quickly. And, and the thing is, is you can't disinfect that top because that, that material is so porous. There's fungus and bacteria that are growing in that material and it, it just real no practical way of, of disinfecting it so again you know we have these things just deteriorating look look when you try to close it you're trying to put them away for the for the winter or whatever you, you deal with this this okay that is that's gonna line up but you know look at the gap that we have here and everything so anyway this is a hut that's in pretty good shape once you know right right now they you can you can just see that you know it's deteriorating it's got holes that, that have gone through it that's what you got to get away from. Right, so go and go around the back. We'll check that other one out. Okay, now we're at the back of the cage. Here's where real, here's where the magic really happens. What's nice also about these cages, I've built them a little bit higher, but when I want to change the heating element, all I've got to do is open that door, and I just slide my heating element in there. So this allows me to change a bulb, change a fixture, and it simply plugs in. The other nice thing about if you get in here, I don't know if you're going to have enough light. We should have left that door open in there. Looks like you're getting some light. Yeah, the, the fixture sits on top of this wire, so the animals cannot get up to the, the heating fixture. And you can come out here at night, and you can service the animals and not have to fight, you know, being able to change that fixture. In the old cage, this is another cage I showed you, you have to actually crawl inside that cage and screw around with the fixture that's that's over your head and in the back while the animals are in there. So, you know, it's just really uncomfortable to work like that. you got to be able to service the cage from the back without disturbing the animals and create a safe environment where they don't get burnt by the, uh, the heating fixtures. That's the way, you know, we're doing it here in South Florida. Um, let me know if uh, any of you other folks have some good ideas of, uh, of cage design. Uh, I'd like to hear what people's comments are. Take care, everybody.